we want to use long division to find the quotient. We have a four-digit number divided by a one-digit number. In this example, we'll be using the traditional long division algorithm. The first step is to write this quotient in long division form, which is this form here. These two division problems are equivalent, where A is a dividend, B is a divisor, and C is the quotient. So we'll write 1,372 divided by 7 in this form here. To begin dividing, we only consider the leftmost digit in the dividend, which is the 1 in 1,372. We need to determine how many 7s there are in 1. And because 1 is less than 7, there are no 7s in 1. And therefore, we also consider the next digit in the dividend. So now we consider 13. We need to determine how many 7s there are in 13. Because there's 1, 7, and 13, we place a 1 in the quotient above the 3. This 1 is actually in the hundreds place value. And now we multiply by the divisor. 1 times 7 is 7. We place the 7 below the 13. And now we subtract. Whenever we subtract, if we have the correct digit in the quotient, this difference will be less than the divisor. If it's not less than the divisor, then the digit in the quotient is incorrect. Notice 13 minus 7 equals 6. 6 is less than 7, so this 1 is correct. Now we bring the next digit in the dividend down, which is the 7. Bringing the 7 down, this is now 67. Now we repeat the process. We need to determine how many 7s there are in 67. So here we need to recognize that because 9 times 7 is equal to 63, and 10 times 7 will be more than 67, there are 9 7s in 63. So the next digit in the quotient is 9, which we place in the tens place value above the 7. Now we multiply by the divisor. 9 times 7 is 63 place the 63 below the 67, and we subtract. Again, if the 9 is correct, this difference will be less than 7. And 67 minus 63 is 4. Because 4 is less than 7, the 9 is correct. Notice how we have one more digit in the dividend, so we bring the 2 down. So now we need to consider 42. We need to determine how many 7s there are in 42. And because 6 times 7 equals 42, there's exactly six sevens in 42, so we place a six in the quotient in the ones place value. Six times seven is equal to 42. Place the 42 below this 42, and we subtract. Because this difference is zero, and there are no more digits in the dividend, we're done. This zero is the remainder, so because the remainder is zero, this tells us seven is a factor of 1,372. Because 1,372 divided by 7 equals 196, there are 196 sevens in 1,372. So this is our quotient. And another way to make sure we understand the meaning of this quotient, this also tells us 196 times 7 equals 1,372. There are 196 groups or copies of 7 in 1,372. I hope you found this helpful.